This is a Yarn Workspaces repo with a small React app and two small libraries. They're all set up to use package.json scripts to test and build them. We're going to add NX and only create one additional file and keep all the existing build system and tooling in place. Let's run npx add nx to monorepo. During the installation process, it asks if you would like to use nx cloud. We'll say yes, and I'll explain what that is at the end of the video. Once the installation is finished, you have some helpful tips on what you can try next. But first, I want to show you what files are actually generated here. You can see that the Narwhal dependencies have been added, and there's now an index.json file. This is the only file that's been created in the file system. So if I run nx test react app, nx runs the existing test script that's located in the package.json file for the react app. But you also get the benefit of caching. So if I run that same command again, instead of six seconds, it runs almost instantly because it's pulling from the cache. Now, NX also gives you a dependency graph. If you run NX depth graph, a browser window opens up and you can show all projects on the side here. And this shows you all the projects that are in your repo. And it shows you that the app depends on the two libraries. Now, because NX understands your dependency graph, it's also smart enough to only run commands on projects that are affected by your changes. First, let's commit our changes here. And now if I run nx affected with a target of test, nothing is run because there have been no changes to our code base. Now let's go into the app here and make a change. I'll just add a console log. Now if I run the same command again, we see that it's testing the app because there's code in that app that has changed. Now the same caching works for the build process as well. If I run nx build react app, NX also knows about your dependency graph. So if the app depends on the routes, it will build the routes first and then build the app itself. Now we can see the output of this app is in this build folder. If we delete this build folder and run the same command again, the build folder is back with the same contents. That's because it's loading this build folder from its cache, which is in the node modules cache folder. So if I were to delete that, this is where the NX Cloud that I mentioned at the beginning of this video comes into play. NX Cloud gives you a distributed cache so that if a command is not present in your local cache, it will check the distributed cache on NX Cloud servers and pull down the results from there. So if I run the same command again, it's not there locally, but it pulled the results from NX Cloud instead of your local cache. This works on your own machine. If your cache folder gets deleted, it would also work for a coworker who pulls down the same branch and runs the same command that you have already run. This saves you from executing the same command twice across your whole organization. To find out more, check out nx.dev or check out nx.app for more information on the paid NX Cloud distributed caching system.